Let's make a comic book, but let's make it a little bit different. Instead of one person or a team making the whole book, we're going to have every panel made by a different cartoonist. We're going to do one page per episode, so the number of guests is the number of panels on the page. So now you're probably wondering, what's this comic book going to be about? Well, let me tell you. It's going to be about a robot. This robot, whose name is Blank. What happens next? Nobody knows. But it's going to be fun finding out. Yay! <laughs> We're live on Let's Make a Comic Book. We're, we're making a comic book with a different artist for every single panel. And we've got three artists in tonight. And one of them's not an artist. So we'll <laughs> say hello to Ben Sullivan, Daniel Watts, and Aaron Mack. Hey. Hello. Howdy. Thanks for coming in, fellas. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. So yeah. we're going to, um, well, you're going to be drawing a panel. And you're going to be following on from last week with uh, Rob Shembry, who had Walter, what are you doing back here? And followed by Jenny McIntosh. It was a long time ago, but you left as the surface world was calling you. And then Chris Wood has finished it off with, I had to try so hard to make sure this wasn't my villain origin story. <laughs> and it's blank and said, yeah, it's still a flashback. So... Right. That was the action from last week. Yeah. And now we're going to figure out um, which layout you guys are going to be using. So if you want to, I'll put my uh, thing up. Yep. Okay. And we're going to play everyone's <laughs> favorite game show, The Wheel <laughs> of Layout. So we're going to spin her up. Aha. Oh, and... halfway? Keeps doing that. Sketch <laughs> because they're big. Uh, hey, yeah. right. Big so that circles. One. Yeah. S you know, we'll remove that from the thing for next week. All right, I so you guys, it. now you know which of the layouts you're using. Now we're going to have to go to the, the hand of choosing to <laughs> pick the order. <laughs> And uh, we'll go, uh, we'll have uh, Dan, you pick a number, one to three. Uh, I'll go two. Two. Two is three. Whoa. 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 So you'll be going last. Can we rig it? Can we rig the... the, the... <laughs> well, let's see. We'll get Aaron to choose next. Oh, this is oh. horrible. I can't pick the X, can I? For <laughs> <No>. <laughs> nice try. Alrighty, lucky number three. Three. That's gonna be one. Three is two. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ben's first. Three. Right. Ben is first. <laughs> ah, okay. And just so we're clear on the layout, I hope I got this right. Is this the one, Ben? Uh, Ed? Yep. Yep. Cool. That's the one. Oh, so... that's the one. Yeah. I got the wrong one. Uh, that's so you, uh, this one. You've got a. Eight centimeter by fifteen point three centimeter rectangle. All right. To All start right. off with, Ben. All right. Should I get cracking? Yes. Go for All it, right. buddy. All right. And get Here to drawing. So uh... we'll have um, Sis have a look at the comments. Yep, that's what I'm up to now. We've got someone called Ed. I don't know who that would be. Going woo woo about three hours ago. Uh, <laughs> we got the first comment in. And we've got uh, Nick May. Uh, he's been a bit um, a bit racist, I guess. He's saying hello to the artists, but not the not artists, I guess. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. It's just yeah. So yeah, a bit artist or whatever. Artistist. I don't know Art what the word is. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> judge me. Uh, this is the one time I'll say, judge me on my race and not on my artistic ability. <laughs> <laughs> And Robbie says hello to the artists and the non-artists. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello to Robbie. And thanks for the comments, me and Nick May. <laughs> <laughs> so who's going? So Ben's drawing. So um, uh, is this okay? Should I do the, the size or double the size, you think? 
Does it matter? It probably doesn't matter. That's right? up to you. Yeah, because right. that's, well, that's the print size. Out. So. Uh, I'm it's easier to draw when it's small. My one? Yeah. <laughs> um, you are number three, so uh, yours is 7.9 across the bottom and 14.8 up. 14.8. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. This is going to end up being like a sandwich that's made with such like beautiful French baguette, you know, the finest... <laughs> Post in all the land, and in the middle is just like off pastrami. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. It makes it nice it. <laughs> um. Oh, Laura Smith says new page. Get keen. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so, Aaron, tell us about um your comic book. How you got into it. The story of why you like comic books um okay so from the beginning um we've got two comics and i work with this guy over here the real the real artist <laughs> uh, we we work together to make um so one is gods among men which is um we started work all the way back in 2021 and that's going to be coming out in april on kickstarter mm -hmm. and we're going to take it a supernova with the little man sizz in the, the box little man. <laughs> little man sizz in the box um and the other one is called anna and that was like a um um it's band merchandise but we also wanted it to be a story that could stand on its own two feet um i forgot the other two what were the other two questions <laughs> yeah. so how did you get into comics oh um so during lockdown, I was like, I needed a new addiction. And then obviously the internet. And, you know, I thought that was a pretty healthy addiction to go on a Facebook. And there were all these groups. And I started buying comic books by the was gallons, the right unit of measurement. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. By the pounds. Yeah, I started buying them. <laughs> started getting really into it. And then that was kind of this thing where we were sitting on a couple of stories and we said, oh, there was one store in particular we said why not do it in the comic format and it you know has shaped out to be something really and if it wasn't for i have to keep mentioning ben here <laughs> and you're gonna see tonight why i'm not the artist on the project and why ben you know really <laughs> took I watched word. Your little video on, watched your little video on that and it was pretty funny <laughs> yeah yeah you got to your, your thumbnails to, to ben's work out as well. i learned a lot from those thumbnails <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right they helped <laughs> Lucky to get there, <laughs> I'll bring it that far, and then Ben takes it into the, the, the sphere of like, oh, okay, this is like legit, you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, been um, it's been a fun, a fun journey, and really love the sort of visual storytelling possibilities of comics, and it's yeah, it makes me feel educated that I can read, but there's pictures, <laughs> so that's really. <laughs> That's really nice. It's a nice feeling. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll go over to Dan and uh, yep. tell us what you've been working on recently. Um, oh, just been finding, yeah, like uh, like Aaron, I've been looking on uh, Instagram a lot more lately and just finding other, finding other comics from overseas and and uh, other create creators of things, toys and, and things are just just trying to do different things at the moment. I've uh, done a couple of uh, co comic covers for uh, one just one Canadian guy, and that was yeah, just trying to change it up and meet meet new people around the world too. That's kind of a kind of a good thing to do while you're on when you can use Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. So so yeah, just been a little bit of. Uh, just working on one more uh, toy packaging, which has been really great. So cool. oh, very cool. lucky to be able to do that again. Yeah, been passed on, which is awesome. So that's kind of like little goals that I've always wanted to do, and it's kind of just starting to happen for me, which has been great. So if it leads to more, it, it, that's awesome. But if not, it's, I'm glad I've been able to be a part of doing a couple of couple of cool projects and Kickstarters. Yeah, not my Kickstarters, but I've just 
joined in with other people, other creators and people doing their own Kickstarters. So, what was the toy? Them. It's pretty good. What toy line was um, it? Oh, is that, I've worked for um, uh, Phantom Star Killer. I've got one. I can show you those. Oh, cool oh awesome. Yeah. I got to do, I'll just turn, I don't know how to turn this around. Um, just hold it next to you. <laughs> yeah, that is, ah, that's the way. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. cool. Oh, oh, oh. He's hung he up. Pressed something. I bet you that's what it was. <laughs> there was copyright. Yeah, there was copyright on that image. <laughs> Thanks, back. Oh, you're all right. Not, so we deal with text in any way we like oh, here. It won't, it won't show yeah. it. Oh, no. <laughs> you might have pressed something, that's all. Uh, oh, okay. Your name's Sherry. I don't know. Oh, what? There you go. Oh, so that's, that's Yeah, so that's it there. Oh, and, wow. Um, I'll bring you up, actually, yeah. so people can see it properly. Yeah, yeah that looks right. So these are... Wow, it's amazing, dude. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, cool. I've got... Yeah, Got to I digitally coloured these as well, which were which was great just to, for the experience as well. So he gave me the, gave me the template. He gave me the template for me to make sure that I was working in the right area, and I just printed that out and um, show you these the original. Oh, nice. oh, nice! Oh, wow! Yeah. It's the original. The, these are A three. I done the original drawings A three size. Mm. That is yeah. sweet. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's great. Good fun to, and just yeah, just to see it printed and manufactured with a toy, which is even better. <laughs> so mm. these oh, toys, are cool. are, yeah, the, the packaging on these are, are really great. So you can actually you pop them, you can actually just pop them open, and you're not damaging the card or anything. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, so the uh, Peter the packs uh, not put it on. That's right. Yeah. So Peter Grohl can he can just whoever artist or whatever um, image graphic he wants to use, he can just put the new card in, which is excellent. That's awesome. So yeah, you can go to Killer Peter Grohl and Killer uh, boot, yeah Killer Bootlegs is his um, Instagram and things like that. And Super Seven is a manufactured by Super Seven uh, Toy Line, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. So that and then. Um, the other the other project I've been able to work with is the Strike Force Alpha. Which is, ah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a big GI Joe, big GI Joe fan. So <laughs> this was um a little bit of a about as close as I'm going to get to work do anything like GI Joe. So these turned <laughs> out really nice. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Excellent. That's what I've kind of been. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, they, that's what I've kind of been luckily enough to be working on and. Yeah, some other projects, but they're all kind of still up in up in the air and still getting getting worked on. So, yeah, mm. cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Ah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so the the artist who's drawn Radical Four uh, did a bunch of the Strike Force Alpha stuff. George Vega. You did, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of the designs and stuff. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, I only I kind of was searching through Kickstarter, and I was just I just typed in action figures, and I thought, oh, see, because I'd I'd seen a couple of people posting saying that they're getting all these like awesome toy lines, and they're pretty decent price when you when you back the Kickstarter in the first the first um, backing. So. I just typed in action figures and then I saw Strike Force Alpha and they're like a O ring, the original like a GI Joe O ring figurine. So mm -hmm. I just um I just done it I done the fan art, I just done that I done the ninja. Um I done that one so first, the original oh, illustration cool. of that one and I just sent I found them and then I found their Facebook page and then I just approached them very nicely and said I kinda done the I done the illustration and then um approached them and showed them the drawing, the finished drawing. So I wasn't just like showing them 
a really bad drawing or a sketch of anything. I finished the drawing and just thought the worst that will happen is I'll be able to just post it on my Instagram and Facebook and maybe help promote that the product. So and then he, they were really happy with it. So they ended up using it. Um, just as a poster at first, they were going to just add that as a poster for the Kickstarter, just one of the um, yeah campaign things to, to reach a goal. And then it went on went on for a while. That's when kind of COVID and everything happened. So that kind of put all their production of the toy line like way behind, unfortunately yeah. for them. But they, look, they they still had a lot of people. A lot of people were complaining, but a lot of people stuck with it. And I just stuck with them as well. And I just purchased a decent amount of the figurines from the Kickstarter and then yeah then they actually used the artwork which I didn't know they were going to do and but, but they obviously talked to me about it and then yeah I was blown away that they were going to use it and then he they commissioned me to do the second one which was the the uh the, the one there oh cool yeah so that, yeah turned out great so I was very lucky to just to be a, a fan and then yeah, get get on board to the Kickstarter and be a part of it. It's awesome. Yeah, that's sweet. That's really cool. Yeah, they look great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, I was going to say, uh, Nick yeah. May great. says they look great as well, Daniel. So yeah, oh, from the comic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and um, that's just the beauty of the internet. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at the stats here and. We have we have more um, female watchers for some reason. It could be the almost shirtless Aaron, maybe. That's what it is. Forget <laughs> <laughs> thing. It needs it. Wait, it. Says take your top off. Yeah, that's that's and what they're up. Our entire audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a niche. You have to you have to find your niche, right? You have to find your niche. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of niches, uh, Ben, how's your panel going? I think I've, I've got something. Sh 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 I need to show you, mm -hmm. I suppose. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do here is oh, what's cool. her name? Mother is going to say, I'm. we're still in flashback mode, I suppose, are we? Well, that's a sure. few. Yeah, sure. I think we're still in flashback <laughs> mode. But So, Dan, is it you next or is it you, Aaron? Aaron's me. Aaron. Aaron, Karen. yeah. Well, I was thinking, I guess you could. She's going to be giving him something for his journey because here we've got the last page was flashback and he's off on his journey. That will oh. lead us to, and she's going to be giving him something that'll help him on his way. And I might yeah. do something right. that may help her. Uh, I wonder if this will work. Just give me one. Uh, I may not see it. Uh, Oh, no, it's not going to work. Because yeah, so you know, that's fun to do that to people. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's giving, yeah. Uh, he's giving him something that will help him on his way. If ah, that, there you go, Aaron. Did, so Aaron's got to no. figure out what it is. It will well, help me on my way. <laughs> I could draw something that will, uh, yeah, I could draw something that would tell you what it is, but I don't know if I should push it that far. I'll just do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, it doesn't make sense. Um, are we um, are we putting words into the lettering? Uh, if you don't want to do it, I can do it for you afterwards. All right. Okay. All right. Tell them what the words are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, hey, I'll get you to put mine in later. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be all right. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able, able to help you really, Aaron. I'm sort of angling towards something, but I'm not sure if I should tell you what I'm angling towards. And otherwise, sort of, and just let me. I think just so. Just let yeah. the child out into the world. No guidance. Yeah. No supervision. Putting it on your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. I'll link that up. Just a thing. <laughs> it, it was in a bag, right? Because see how he's carrying that thing on his back. Oh, yeah, the like, bender one. What do you call those things? It's so it's that bag. It's probably got a chicken thing on there, I suppose, too. And it's on a stick, but that's what she's given him before his journey. Oh, Does that make I like sense? That. Yep. So it's been a long mm -hmm, time since mm -hmm. the Levian mission. I had to try so hard to make sure this wasn't my villain origin story. Oh, yeah. 
blank. Yeah, it's still a flashback, and yeah, it's still doing flashback because she's given him something, and I, I know what that is, but oh. I can't tell you what it is because then I'd be telling you too much. <laughs> the thing is the reason why people like you know lego is because lego gives you step-by-step -step instructions you know people talk about creating Nobody cares about that. we just want yeah. it laid out for us i think i've got something um, you do? so oh, if no. you don't draw the egg um i'll do my damnedest Go, go, Aaron. Like, yeah. your life. Oh, Aaron. I like the sound of that. <laughs> and uh, Nick May is things are heating up. Oh, yeah. You think he's talking more about the shirtlessness, maybe? <laughs> or, or about the art? I'm not sure, really. Look, if all if all goes well and I, I start to freak out and panic, then you just see the shirt come off and uh, <laughs> maybe that. And, That's your decoy. <laughs> Exactly, it's my smoke bomb. You know? <laughs> they can also pretend Dan's naked because you can't see his clothes. Ah, yes. yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I do for new stuff. <laughs> yeah. From the get go, from the beginning of this, I was like, "Oh, cool! It's like a nudist convention. Everyone's naked." <laughs> well, I never get up, so we won't mention why. So <laughs> I've got the yeah. comic shirt on. I, I, I didn't say anything else. I do worry when Sis comes down to Melbourne that I'll get to see and I'll go like, wow, so it turns out you just never wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would make, make for a fun convention. <laughs> and, and yes, one. being escorted out the door. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's but what are they going to Or he's got you really tiny go little legs. And, laugh. <laughs> and he's standing on his chair right now and his tiny little legs and that's why... He... I've never seen because <laughs> yeah. he already is standing, yeah, actually, standing, standing, the whole standing time. on my chair with my tiny legs. <laughs> I just realized I've been talking too much. I should be drawing. Yeah, you need to go. Yeah, come on. <laughs> snap, snap. <laughs> Dan's waiting for his prompt. Yeah, I need to I need to know what's happening. <laughs> okay. Um, I've basically decided to pass the buck. <laughs> of, not, of not deciding what is in the thing. So basically, in summary, I'm going to do a shot from the inside of the bag of oh. uh, Walter looking in, and then the words kind of fill in a little bit, but maybe it's better. It's like, um, what's that movie? It's like Seven, right? Maybe it's better not to show what's in the bag, and then it becomes this box? really eventful. Yeah, yeah, what's in the box? So I'm, like I'm basically <laughs> avoiding it. <laughs> that's pretty clever Aaron. <laughs> that's good it's clever cartooning i will come up with any excuse to get out of doing more work <laughs> well, that's what i did with mine i had a dragon eat the other dragon so i didn't have to deal with the dragon <laughs> so you drew nice. two dragons to not have to draw one I just didn't want to have to deal with the dragon interacting with blank. So I'm like, oh, I could never do that. Oh, no, I'll get another dragon, eat that dragon. That That's easy. <laughs> We've got a yeah, baby from Nick May. Again, it could be about the art, could be about the shirtlessness. You never tell nice. Nick. Um, G'day from York. Looking forward to seeing today's page. Ah, Con. Is that Con? Yeah. He was on um, the international um, episode. Right. Yeah. Our, our Australian in the UK. Yeah, he did. He was the one that ah, did the craziness with the awesome. mother, the cyborgs, and That's the mothers and stuff. Yeah. There's so many. There's so many curveballs in this thing. Like I was trying to follow <laughs> us through it, and I was like, it's just zing zang zong. <laughs> it's usually the, the the last panel. Whoever's got the yeah. last panel usually throws something up for the next week's artist to deal with. Yeah. Oh, we've got Andrew Law, who was also on the show, was it last week or the week before? Um, I'm losing before. track. Oh, okay. We did that cool one there. Yeah, the crying one. Cool. Oh. Um, he's saying it's a MacGuffin. I don't know what that means. MacGuffin. MacGuffin. 
Is that, a, is that a reference to some sort of pop culture I'm not familiar with? As a device. It's a, a, a the writing like term that. for a thing that everyone's after in the story, but it does. It's not a. It doesn't really matter what it is. Oh, okay. So it's a technical term. That's why I don't know it. It's a. It's something that means something important. So. It, it, the MacGuffin in films is meant to be like a, it's like a way to write to basically make sure that you've got a device that just writes you out of any problem. Oh. So you just create a thing and they're like, oh, it's a magical MacGuffin. And then you go, oh, we've written ourselves into a corner. And you're like, oh, but the MacGuffin can teleport us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Say it's a, it's a dirty trick, but you know what? Like, <laughs> it works. If it works. <laughs> so we've heard Aaron and Dan's origin stories. Ben, tell us why you got into comics. Oh, um, I got a, uh, I got a job uh, eight years ago, uh, which was like a kind of advertising job, but it, was, it turned out to be a comic. And that kind of got me started. With that, I, I guess it just uh, I, I tried it before, but um, I did not know where to be, you know start, um, you know start one. But doing that job, I was sort of forced to figure it out, and I figured it out, and then just went kept going. <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, after that, I went to uh, a comic con to show a little folio around. And I met DK uh, Darren Kozel there, and he got the, gave me the first um, kind of first job, I suppose. Oh, with, nice. uh, his old, cool. yeah, his old um, comic, uh, uh, DK. Yeah. DK, yeah, with DK, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, is that intentional? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and haven't stopped. That's Excellent. awesome. Did you read comics when you were a kid or anything? Just Asterix. I was mad on oh, Asterix. Yeah. 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 Oh, was, Hell yeah. oh, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Um, uh, every one of them. I had the game book. Oh, I wonder if I've still got it. I had the game book as well. I think there's three game books. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I had everything. Um, obsessive about them, yeah. yeah. I've read them to my son and to my daughter as well, so I've probably read cool. each one of them uh, a lot, <laughs> a few times over. <laughs> excellent comics to be reading over and over. That excellent oh, choice. Yeah. So in the eighties, the Asterix and Tintin was just about the only comics you'd find in libraries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that was my hot, my school was only. That's all I could really find was Tim Tin and yeah. Asterix. So that was, I was happy about that. It was amazing. Yeah. Amazing storytelling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The beautiful artwork in, in both of those. Yeah. Oh, God. And they've got different mm. content when you're older, too. Like, there's so many things I went back to as, an, as a slight, like a grown man child. And I was like, wow, this is actually like, you know, <laughs> a little bit dirty. Yeah. It's, it's stuff that the kid might not get. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, since we've got a, a Kickstarter or a pre-Kickstarter running for Blank at the moment. Yeah, someone's excited about it behind me. I don't know if yeah. you can hear that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got a pre-launch page, which is meant to change every day, but I've been ridiculously busy for the last week, so I haven't been doing that each day. So sorry about that to the other artists. I will start putting your art up. Um, it's a pre-launch page for this comic. Um, it's an all PDF um, Kickstarter, and it will have many, many rewards. Um, What's the address for it? Oh, it's um, blank. Oh, I think I'll put it in the thing. So let me check in the um, brand banners. Um, we've got it's so many banners in here now. I get lost. So it's blank.comex.studio. That'll get you there. Hit that notify button. You want to? You don't want to miss out on the beginning of it because we are doing three levels 
of um, early birdness. I could, that's the only word I can think of. Um, so if you're in the first 12 hours, it doesn't tell you on here, unfortunately, but if you're in the first 12 hours, you will uh, get um, a whole bunch of number ones from Reverie. Um, cool. so that's pretty cool. Um, you're in the first 24 hours, so um, you'll also get a um, Wordsmith uh, PDF, the full graphic novel. Um, and then let's see if I can remember. The th if you're in the first 48 hours, you will get a uh, Sidrus uh, 1 plus a story from Sidrus 2 that's not available because 2 is not ready yet. Um, unfortunately, I can't write all that on the pre-launch page because you're given those many letters that you can see there, and after that, it it doesn't let you type anymore. Um, so yeah, so um, I will be putting something together to sort of promote it a bit, bit better, explain what's going on, so people know that it's really important to get in there early if you want all the goodies. Um, all our goodies, most of them, are by getting there early, not by getting stretch goals. So. Sweet. There are stretch goals, but I won't go into them. You can see them when you go into the campaign. Um, but the getting in early is where you get all the good stuff. And if you're in the first 12 hours, you don't just get what I said. Then you also get the 24-hour and the 48-hour stuff as well. So because cool. you were in those as well. So lots of goodies, lots of good stuff, lots of awesome comics as well. They're all great. Um, so maybe a full to miss them. Ooh. They're all PDFs too, so... Don't yeah, they're all PDFs, shipping. right? I should probably note that. They're all PDFs. So it's a uh, very cheap uh, money, money um, conservative. Money safe. <laughs> money good. Yeah, so um, uh, there's also an elevated price for the first couple of days. The, the, the um, PDFs are $2. And then nice. after that, they go up to their normal price. All right, so Aaron, let's have a look at your yeah, kind of, sorry to interrupt. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, I've gone hey, this far. I figured once I started to um, draw the thing. Um, I don't know what's the Oh, yeah, I can see. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, right. nice. Bag. <laughs> so if I can at least basically shirk away from responsibility by just, you know, and then I just kind of, I'm just going to put, <laughs> Shadows and some crisscrosses, you know. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> right now. Looking awesome. All Black all yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I've, I've got a question. Are we inking these as well? Yeah, you, you don't have to, but you. It'd be uh, great if you could. I can't send them over to Ben to get it done for me. Ben <laughs> 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 wants um, my work. Like, why? You know. I'll, there were other things that I've done that look better, but have taken like weeks. So this is. Well, this he does some the great fly. stuff, Aaron. Yeah, but, yeah, so but you, see, you saw you saw how long um, it took me. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, you can uh, get started on your one now. Oh, okay, yeah, great. All right. I'll yeah. Get, uh, I'll... Are you happy for just to watch the drawing, or do you want to? Yeah. Would you rather that'd be, I don't know. That'd be excellent. Yeah, okay. If we can watch that. it, that'd be amazing. Sorry? If we could yeah, watch it, it'd be amazing, but that's only if your yeah. your um, setup yeah, no, works. I'm happy to do that. I don't want to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> can you see that? That's all right, hey? Yeah, yeah, I can boost it up to see it as well more if we want to randomly bring oh, it up. Yeah, cool. yeah. It's a more interesting idea. I wish I could do... Uh, I don't think I could do the same. Oh, well, mm -hmm. really set up. We can, uh, really excited can about the blank comic. Give us a look at how your panel's going, if you want. Oh, mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going into the inking. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh I've sort of given away what my... Dan, if it, if it helps at all, uh, Sorry? what's in the, um, in the bag? Does that help? Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put what's in the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it. so. Nice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> now, what I can do is I can do a different layout so we can see Dan better. 
so don't get don't get worried there um ed i've just got to do this so this works Oh, I love the little pre-sketches. That's awesome. Yeah. The warm-ups. Right. A bit of warming up. Yes. I haven't drawn today, so I needed to warm up. <laughs> you can see the difference between the pros and the guy was just like, you know, oh, I'll just grab a pencil and forget. I forgot my eraser. So, you know, what you see is what you get. <laughs> just don't make any mistakes and you won't need it. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> That's what they told me, like, in school. And... So um, we've got some comments here. We've got Danny Nolan's come in with um, ah. this comic will take the Envent uh, grade to a whole new level. <laughs> and Dave is giving us a good evening, everybody. Uh, good a bit evening, late, Dave. Dave. I'm, not, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> good come evening, on, Dave. get it together. You know what time it's on. <laughs> Just Danny kidding with you, Dave. Too. We love you. So, so, Dan, are you deciding what's actually in the bag? Are you, Daniel? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm now I'm sitting here watching you draw, and I'll forget that I'm on the show because all I care about is finding out what's in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> we got cold was... creatures saying love watching the process, so that's always that's cool. Thank you, cold creature. Is the drink and draw tomorrow? Ah, uh, yes, there is a drink and draw tomorrow. Uh, oh wow, that's what I didn't post today. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone watching, the drink and draw theme for tomorrow that I haven't posted yet, and I should have posted about two or three days ago, uh, is sitcoms. Six so draw oh. someone from a sitcom, and it is wide open. They were talking last fortnight about everything from Friends to Seinfeld all the way to MASH and um, uh, Happy Days. So go crazy. Draw some crazy stuff. I'll put that link up after the show, actually. And um, I'll um, put the banner up so everyone can see it. I knew there was something else I had to do today. <laughs> like I was saying before the show, I've had a very crazy day. So, yeah. But uh, let's make the comic books exclusive. Who comes the up with the themes for uh, Drink and Draw? Who thinks of them? Yeah. Uh, usually Spedsy. Oh, okay. Some, you do it as a group. Uh, occasionally, if no one can think anything, I'll throw something out there. But the last couple of weeks, fortnights have been spedsy. Ah, ah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Law has got some ideas about what's in the bag. I think that's what he's talking about. Uh, minties, fantails, jaffers. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> And cold creature is saying interesting. Uh, not too sure if that's about the art, our conversation, drink and draw, Spedsy. Spedsy is interesting. Yeah, nice. Obviously, the shirtlessness. <laughs> ah, of course, interesting. So <laughs> interesting that the singlet is still on. That's probably what they're saying. <laughs> I'm so engrossed. In my activity, you know, you can't. I've, 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 this is the time I've ever been. It's when you put the pressure on and you say, "Go do some freaking work," and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, cold creature it. says she was talking about the uh, he or she, sorry, was talking about the theme for tomorrow." There you go. Yeah. I think the most interesting thing about this show is the the pressure that the guests have put under to to make up something on the fly. Yeah, it is pressure. That's very hard. <laughs> I noticed. Uh, also, as simple as this character is, there's a lot going on. You got to sort of pay attention to, isn't there? 
Mm. There's a couple of little Thanks mm. for and stuff. But. So he's always got three fingers, yeah? Not always, but the, ah, when I first okay. joined, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, that, then he got a thumb. <laughs> so it does vary a bit, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, no. That's it. The continuity supervisor on this project will be losing their freaking mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, oh, I hate that I can't zoom in. Yeah, I want to. Let's have a zoom in. Can you zoom in with your with your camera there, Dan? Yep. Said a little clown. Uh -huh. robot. There's a Another little robot. robot. <laughs> Another robot. Another oh, robot it's... coming out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, we got right. it. <laughs> huh. For a second there, I thought it was the eyeball creature. I'm going, oh, we're going full circle. I, I thought it was um, Diamond Bell. That was, that's exactly what I was angling towards. Because it could ah, well, we've got a new... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't want to say. Character, you're going to love it. <laughs> the cold creature says that's so cute. She loves the little robot. <laughs> that's good. Oh, you can push outside the um, uh, the box. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. people have yeah, done all the time. Done that. Just yeah. stay inside the pink line. Yeah, the, the, the pink, pink one. Line. Yes, yes, the, yes. And also, you guys, the the red bit on your one is going to be cut off. That's yes. So that's the overlapping right. in front. Oh, the overlapping. Yeah. Just trying to make up different uh, variations of the three-panel page. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a good thing Ed organised this. It'd be the same <laughs> thing every week as me. Which are also square. So. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and to make them rectangles and uh, so they're not real funny shapes, so they're not too hard for people drawing traditional to recreate mm -hmm. them on their page. Oh, good There's boy, a lot yeah. of stuff we had to think about. There's some tough diagonal ones in here. Oh, triangle one on pay with Shaden. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they were all digital, good. so they could draw ah. straight onto the into the ah. thing. Man, Robbie, come on. I can't pronounce that. Let me have a look. I've got, I've got a question. Patricia um, ben. Hey, Ben, what are you doing for um words? I mean... Mother I just is that. That. Can, can I do need to put something in, but can we put the balloons in post or do we have them here? Yeah. No, you can do I it however they... you want. If you want to draw them by hand or... Well, I might, put them in if later. it's okay to do them afterwards, because I've just drawn through and I don't know how big, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say here either. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. But oh, here, there, um, so the balloon's there. And I'm cutting into it on the head, but... Yeah, yeah, it's oh, if it's possible to do it after. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's cool. Uh, do you have an idea what, what you're going to have for your dialogue? Who, me? Hey, you're Ben. Or... Oh, me? Uh, Sorry? Uh, waiting on I, I, <laughs> I sort of do. I think I'm just going to have the uh, saying here is something... To help you with your journey, and we're still uh -huh. in flashback mode, I suppose. Yeah, I think the little robot is a is an awesome cue to come out of the flashback. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. right. Oh no, I just affected the story. I just broke the first rule of being a host. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of leading towards that to go to step out of the flashback. And it's like <laughs> this guy's kind of just said, I finally have you or I've got you or something. I don't know. <laughs> so you're allowed to say that. I'm not meant to lead the story. <laughs> yeah, looks like Ed's looking for a new co-host this week. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sizz just can't stop trying to push the story in one way or another. I nearly did it last week. There was <laughs> a lot of ideas going around. So Ben's saying here is something to help you on your journey. It's still in flashback mode. And so Aaron, what's your one going to say? Uh WIP, work in progress. I've got the first <laughs> sentence. I'm going I'm to hold off on the ink. I'm going to get the words down because that's my comfort zone. And then I'm going to go back and attempt to ink, you know. Yeah, oh, sorry, lost for words. I just said words is my strong suit. And then. Just remember, <laughs> if, if you don't want to do the, the, the actual text, Ed can put that in mm -hmm. um, in yeah. Photoshop or whatever he uses afterwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the words on the side so you can see what it says and then um, I go from there. Sweet. And, and also, um, thank you. Dan, I know. Are you going to have dialogue <laughs> in your one, Dan? Yeah, just something small from the robot, I think. Oh, cool. Finally, <laughs> I have you or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Russian stacking dolls. So you should have just said yeah. that, Robbie, because I can pronounce that. Mm. Oh, Kerry knows the word as well. Damn it. <laughs> What's the word? The Matryoshka dolls. You're not watching it. You can't see the word. Matryoshka doll. Babushka dolls? Babushka well, everyone knows it. Great. Great. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Matryoshka, ita ruski. <laughs> Gibberish is my first language. English is my second language, so just leave me alone. It's, <laughs> it's hard studying the second language. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yep. Now Kez is on the um, new co-host needed train. I can speak English, Ed. I'll be the new co-host. Oh, <laughs> sounds like there's a party outside about the blank comic. Um, I should get them to draw a panel. See how <laughs> they, they, they're a bit yahooey. I think they might be drunk. On a Thursday. Yeah, the Thursday's uni oh, night. It's a <laughs> Welcome to Nunderbelly, as it's called. <laughs> That's looking awesome, Daniel. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm still loving the little warm-up sketches as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll do some more and we can... Can use it for whatever you like if you if you're interested. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. So next week will be our second last show mm. for this season. The the pen penultimate episode of Let's Make a Comic Book Season 1. So do you know who ties it up? Who finishes the story? We do. It's a big and secret. If we told you, we'd have ah. to kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like you, um, so I don't want to have to kill you. <laughs> but then that means you have to come over here, and then we can catch you <laughs> in the cage, and then we're like, all right, we got it. We got him, boys. <laughs> ah, cold creature. Okay, yeah. Chuck them in the back of the comic. I love books that have that show the sketch work. Uh, that is going to happen. There will be a blank comic, and then there will be the blank with bonus comic um, in the um, Kickstarter. So, for a few extra bucks, you can get all the extras. All the sketches, the pinups, and so forth. Oh yeah, I got there. I forgot to scan these, but so these are the 
Oh, that's what you on when. Are they yours, eh? Yeah, when, when me and Sis were on a call and trying to figure oh, out what wow. the the character would be. Oh, that's cool. If it's going to be a robot or a monster, it's trying to think of oh, something wow. that would be really easy yeah, to they... draw. Yeah, that's good. And then you see there's a prototype blank. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. It's a bit more detailed, too. Oh. <laughs> And that's all I have. But so, so I took that and cleaned it up and designed blank. Um, I just realized what I totally forgot to do this episode. Is it the, the things down the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> I just looked up the top of Daniel's um, <laughs> illustration there and what it says, and I went, oh, I was meant to actually advertise that. <laughs> I don't know if it would be worth it for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies, gents. I didn't do my job tonight. Fire! Oh, great. Another reason. Yeah, another reason to fire me. Oh, great. I'm kicking golf I'm tonight. stuffing up tonight. Awesome cold creature. Yep. Get in there. Get in there quick and you'll get the bonus one as well as all those goodies you get for being in quick. Um, there's The Reverie pack has um, Reverie, Vex, um, oh, Rick McLoon. Um, I'm going to forget something here. Um, I think Toby and the Magic Pencil one is in there. So that's pretty Fantastic. cool. Fantastic. And a mystery yeah, that's a great, one. That's a great comic. I have yeah. been told. Oh, that's great. That's great. Are they all issue ones, Sis? Uh, yep, all issue ones. Oh, so Rick issue one as well? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. This was yeah, all PDFs. I've, Ed keeps reminding me to say that so people aren't expecting comics. So, yeah. Physical comics, I should say. They're still comics. They're just PDFs. So oh. um, it's number ones of all, all of all of those titles. Oh, fantastic. And the first wordsmith, if you're in there after that. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Oh. Wordsmith is a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoy that book. SK's done a really good job on it. Well, the writing of it. He didn't draw it. <laughs> Excellent. Do. Um. Yeah. <sighs> and then there's the Ben Sullivan gift for the people in the first 28 hours. You get a Sidrus one. Ah, oh, right, right, great. So first story hey, for Sidrus is in yeah. There. So, yeah. Ah, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Dan, Dan, are you doing a background? Uh, I was thinking about it, but. It wasn't really reference to anything in the background, was there? Or, or have you got something? No. Yeah, I'm kind of stumped, actually. Um, I'm not sure yep. where this... Oh, wait, I do know where this is. Yeah, this is underground, isn't it? Or does yeah. he look oh. in the bag once he's up top? Is there... Oh, this yeah, is a flashback, this... so... It's... Yeah, it could so... be anywhere, couldn't it? It's a flashback. It's in the... We've got some fantasy cityscapes in the background it's a cityscape yeah. isn't it yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's um, oh, yeah. tim McEwan's at the little city oh that's the top one oh, okay uh, yeah couple of things oh all right <laughs> um but as they say when in doubt black it out <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> a lot of black. <laughs> yeah, a black question for Daniel: Did you decide, Daniel? Did you decide what words you were gonna put on your? Is it's a robot coming mm. out of? I think just like I have you, like, like I, he's a, or maybe like he's a, he's a bounty hunter or or something, or he's just a, another robot chasing him or something. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking of. I like bounty hunters, okay. so maybe a bounty hunter robot. Okay. 
because believe it or not, I, I spent that long just trying to write the words and I was trying to make it really sweet and sappy. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, there's, there's not much space, so that, that way it can open up for the next. It's <laughs> open-ended. Okay, well, yeah. I'll, I'll read out what I wrote. And of course, I had mm. to be extra. So um, <laughs> this title, this is um, like speech coming from Mother. I don't know if Mother has a name. But Mother says from off panel, the world above is cold and harsh. We had to make you so if you were to survive your mission. But a cold facade is no shield for a heart as warm and pure as yours. So for you, my son, I gift you companionship. And then the robot jumps out. Oh, and then right. text him awesome. instantly. So right. So yeah. that's that's that, anybody that, who, uh, that fits with the theme of the rest of the book, though. As soon it as someone yeah, introduces does. something, it it nice. attacks him. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, what's the word? Like a red herring. Like you're like, oh, that's yeah. sweet, and then it's like, boom, robot gonna kill you. Ooh. Yeah, I, like I that. love I it. That. Yeah, go with that. Leave it. Yeah, it's like the uh, one panel romance. Mm. Didn't last long. They were getting no. a bit friendly, and then the oh. knife came out. The next panel, <laughs> <laughs> and that was also the it was Diamond Bill introduced. He turned into a little robot, and then the next page, <laughs> he starts trying to bite him and shoot him. Monster robot attacking him, <laughs> and then we've got the once he went into the ground, I'm. It's a shame no one wanted to go on with the the eyeball apocalypse thing. But oh, is that leaves? That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a clever way out, though, to put him underground. But as soon as he, he goes underground and these guys see him and say, death to the surface dweller. Yeah. So he's, he's been in the in the wars, old, old Blanky. Constantly. <laughs> So good fun. I, I will admit, as I started, um, the the fun definitely started to creep in. Where I'm like, all right, I'm getting less um, nervous about the whole, you know. <laughs> thing. Um, I literally just was like, I don't know how to ink, so I just grabbed my pen and started drawing on it. And I'm like, well, I guess we're in the deep end now. Oh, you're in. Right. I'm gonna That's give it. That's how I ink. Yeah, that's what inky is. <laughs> Just jump in there. I've got inking pens here somewhere. Well, I don't know if they're proper inking pens. I think they're graphics for um, tech drawing. That's what I use to ink my um, my um, pencil art. I must put them in the cupboard or draw because I've been doing everything digital lately. What, whatever like improper tool there is to be using, I'm using it. Nice, excellent. They'll yeah. add some character to the page. I like it. Yeah, real unconventional, you know. <laughs> You're almost there, Ed. That mm. time of the night, and I've got nothing prepared because I didn't ask everyone what their thing was. Oh, God, wow! I am having one of those nights. Oh, I don't even have that browser open. Jeez. Okay, let's see if I can find everyone's. I know. I think um, because I'm guessing Aaron's is just going to be photos and so forth, not really art. Of what? Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Well, if you pull up uh, Senation Comics, that has all of Ben's beautiful oh, Ben stuff. Yes, yeah. good trick. Good trick. Hey, that's so it. A little two. Oh, yeah. yeah, Ben, a two for um, <laughs> a, a right. twosome. A twosome. <laughs> Lovely. That's not the right term. <laughs> there you go. So well, Sis is getting that stuff organized. If you guys want to take a picture of your panel and send it to Sis in the messenger. Now? Yeah. Yeah, what you're up to yeah. now. It's okay. just like a 
a, a, give the audience a rough idea what it's going to look like. Okay. Progress okay, report. that is not the page I want to be on. Um, and then while they're doing that, we can have a look at the comics.shop website where you can get all the Australian comic books and all the... Um, uh, when you buy stuff from here, this helps support all the comics stuff, all the, the Kickstarters and the this show, like paying for the the software that we're using and all the other shows, the Drink and Draw and Chinwag and um, Shaden's one and all that other cool stuff. So we can have a look. That one's my comic book. And a lot of these people have been on the um, on the show. We've got Sean Craig yes. that's been on, and, um, Dana King, Nick Cleary, uh, Rob O'Connor. They've all contributed panels to the blank comic book. There's a mystery pack. Yeah, the mystery pack has been um, bought by a few people now. I get to randomly pick comics from the shop, and uh, the mystery pack people get whatever I give them. It's thirty dollars worth. Well, thirty dollars you pay for sixty dollars worth of comics. Correct. So it hurts the hip pocket, but everyone gets to experience something new about Australian comics. Hurts my hip pocket, not yours. Who did that presents cover there? That one looks cool. Uh, that's Dave Dye, I think. Ah, that's why. We've got... Uh, ben, uh, you haven't got Facebook, so you probably want to send yours by email. Oh, I actually just te texted it to you. Does that help? Uh, I'll text. I'll hang out. I'll is that possible? Does that work? Yeah, it should work. Um, that's uh, right. Wrong phone. Almost finished too. Uh, yeah, I haven't got anything. Oh, I, uh, what about it? Oh no! Shoot. Um, wrong chain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, not wrong chain. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got any text. Sorry no, to say. No, it hasn't gone through, Shane. Just uh, oh, they're still uploading. Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, cool. I'll just send it to Ryan. Uh, if you can do it to the email, that'll be fine. I can get oh, that. I'll, I'll do that, Shane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might be, might be quicker because I'll have to fiddle around to get it onto something that. Oh, like, of course. To get it to Ed. That's, that's true. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I like that it's stuff that never happened. It's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> to you, Shane, on Messenger. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thanks. I think you got mine, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I got yours. Sorry. Yeah. I should let people know that I've got this. <laughs> so they're not sitting yeah. there going, do, 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 do. I sent it. And Shane's there like, why hasn't he sent it? We don't all speak your second language. <laughs> I think you do. Yeah, I think I do. It's my first that you don't speak. It's Dribble. Chinese, isn't it? <laughs> no, my first is dribble. <laughs> dribble and nonsense. That's the best. Interchangeable languages. Oh, I've reached the bottom of the internet. <laughs> I don't think that shows everything either. Or uh, maybe it only shows what's in stock because I've got over 100 titles all up in the shop. But this doesn't show you if they're not in stock. Is that Sidrus? <laughs> Sidrus Perceptions, yep. 10% off, you guys. And I've got a panel in that, that oh, book yeah. as well. Oh, you have too. I forgot about um, 
how uh, Peter did that to his story. So there's a lot of people in that book, actually. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Um, how do I get it to go away from this? How are we going? I've got two. Just waiting for Ben's. Sorry. Uh, right. Um, yes, I beat Ben at something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be an easy one, Aaron. <laughs> uh, That detective budgie book's good too. Yeah. And Amazing Tales. Oh, and Susan Dug at the Multiverse. Oh, there's only about um 10 of them left, I think. Oh. Woo. And that's that's a... kind of like um, this show, but every page is by someone different. Yeah, it's yes, yeah, exactly. Instead of every panel, it's every page. That's gonna be a hell of a um our credits page on on blank. <laughs> Magnifying glass not included. Ah. Well, watch Dan. You can do it, Ben. We believe in you. I've just got a weird way to have to do this. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, just, sure send it to me. I'll send it to you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, <laughs> I, just, I, I haven't am, set up my email on the screen. Yeah, that's weird. It's not coming through to me. I'm not going yeah, to no, I try, Oh No, it's on my end. Oh, it's your end. Okay. Yeah. Um, I haven't set the phone, the email up on this phone either. Um, oh, okay. So. Oh. so that's probably oh. the best way to do it. Amazing. Okay, let me Did save it. I got it. <laughs> Thanks Woo! so much. It's technology. Possibly do. Yes, technology. What a world. I look at what Ben's done, and I'm like, that's why I have to. I have to get all like you know a bit pompous with the um the, the text because otherwise okay. my people. Okay, I'll send it to you now, Mr. Sis. You Excellent. have it. You should have it. I do. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Um, this is for Mr. Kersley. Yeah, got it. Oh, sorry to make that so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I just realized I haven't shared my page either. Um, not my page, my screen. Uh, share screen. Just watch Daniel for a little bit more, people. It is a good, good to watch. So it doesn't matter that I'm taking my time. Yeah, well, wow! Look at that, man. This this fanciful ink work going on. I think that will force the screen to change. Yes, it did. I hate how it does that. That's a bit of a glitch. I shouldn't. I shouldn't hey. force. Oh wow! Just, we've got we've got the two in one page. We've got this hey. the, um, Aaron awesome. and Ben in one Instagram. Yes, and the two, the two for one deal. Oh, oh look at that! There's some more artwork. So team yeah. there. That was a fun day of filming. It was. Yeah, yeah, that was good fun. We got to see sassy Ben <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Forced to. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's a video. Whoops. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yes, we, we found um, videos have been very um, beneficial in recent times. You know what, with the the current generation and attention spans. Yes. I've got to learn to make more videos, to be honest. I like this. You're showing yes. the band members with the picture. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Oh, I thought you have seen that, Ben. Yeah, like, because no, that was something that... With the band, yeah. Yeah, like we um, and the Santa. The whole idea, 
to do the comic came from after we shot the first music video. Um, and I remember saying to Josh, who was my brother and co-creator of Gods Among Men and the Anna comic, and I was like, like you guys look like freaking superheroes. And you know, <laughs> one thing led to another. And then we went there to Ben go. and we said, hey, ben, put a pin in Gods Among Men for a moment. We got this crazy new thing we got to do. And Ben was like, okay. I love the cats. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cats are awesome. Who doesn't love cats? They get their own. They get their own. That's awesome. That's great. There we go. You know, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give a nice little um, teaser, but the cats, um, when we finally get around to issue one, which will be very soon, um, they're going to be special cats with powers. So who doesn't love special cats with Super cats. Yeah. Yeah. Super cats. And ooh, lovely! Oh, look at that! Yeah, you get to see the process oh, from these pencils, oh. the inks. Do you see why I'm like, why are you getting me? And then you've got Ben, Ben's <laughs> art, and you're like, you want to put so nice pencils between, between me and between ben and Daniel, like. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it worked out very well, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're at the bottom. So we'll just cruise through here. Why are you waiting? Look again. Dun, 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 dun. And we're back at the top. So now let's look at Dan's wonderful stuff. Oh, why does it do that? Woo. These are people you may know. Oh, yes, Dan, I did the creepy thing and I saw your Instagram, so I added you straight away because I was like, Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow you as well. That'd be great. Oh, there's Woo. the toys. Cool. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, little people. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's my little ones. Mm. They're my world at the moment. <laughs> Well, always, oh, yeah. I, I love that. Uh, that's, that's awesome, Dan. Gee. Ooh. Uh, thanks. Lots of lots of fan art. Yeah, most of it. I'm trying to get back to more original stuff of my own, but yeah, it's. Fine. Are they your character sketches there? Yeah, everything on there is my my work. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, I, I like. I was spending some time oh, just nice. playing around, drawing while we're watching TV. Just draw, um, oh, yeah, cool. or, orcs and things like that, and and then robots and space characters, and just fill a page of different characters. That's kind of a nice, um, oh, is that uh, okay? nice thing to do to keep keep drawing, keep your hand flowing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Use wow. the imagination when you don't have the time. Oof. Okay, I've got to see what this is. Oh, yeah, that's, um, I don't wow. know if you see, that, yeah, Monsterella, that's the latest, one of the covers I just got to do, a variant cover for um, Monsterella, that's a Canadian comic book. Oh, cool. Yeah, Hang, Hangman Comics, it's called. Check them out, they're, oh, they're really, it's really right. cool, like the, right. like the old that's horror, familiar. kind of a horror kind of feel, yeah. Nevin, Nevin Arnold, I met him on Instagram and I love his art. He, his art kind of, uh, we have a kind of familiar, uh, same type of feel of our artwork. So I, I followed his work and spoke to him a couple of times. And yeah, we became friends on, swapped. I swapped a couple of comics for his comics. And yeah, it's been good. Oh, and nice. he, yeah, I've done a couple of, just a couple of fan art sketches for him. And then... Then I asked. Oh, then he asked to be a, if I would like to do something for the next for issue issue too. So I, I got to do that cover, which turned oh, out great. I was blown away. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, there's the the um, backing boards of the toys. Yeah, cool. Yeah, or backboards, or whatever you call it. Oh, nice. No J I love. That. <laughs> isn't that going insane? Isn't that all the AI? Oh yeah. 
Was that a glow in the dark cosmic ghoul warrior? Yeah, that's a, that was the first um, toy packaging I'd done for um, for Peter Peter Grohl for Phantom Star Killer. That was oh, okay. the original one I did. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago now. You can go to his um, Instagram and he's got a full, you can buy any of his figurines and things like that direct from him. And Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. He's a, he's a very clever guy. <laughs> oh, cool. Wow. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, that well, was the commission I got. I the got giant to do size, on, um, giant size um, X Men. Yeah, um, the Ninja Turtles and then I Yusagi. Yeah, homage to that. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. <laughs> I did the original. Did the original drawings on that were for are on um, just a blank cover comic. So I then I just scanned it in and digitally coloured. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that was a commission for for okay. a guy from the state. It was, yeah, which is great. Nice. Oh, yep. Is that the the actual uh, the comic there? That's the one, yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, bit of E-Man. Can't go wrong there. No. <laughs> there are a couple of commissions there. Yep. How you going, Ed? I'm done. All done? Okay. We'll stop stalking... Um, Daniel, Daniel? <laughs> no worries. Fantastic man. stuff, Daniel. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Really amazing. Yeah, really nice. Cheers. Mm. It's the top. I think I scrolled longer than I thought I did. Yes. Just further cement. <laughs> there this we is go. Oops. Awesome. Here we go. Um, what have I done? Oh, that's right, because we were watching... And we shall bring it up. Ah, there it is. Oh, that. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's wow. the page so far. So is it got... is it too late to say I've done more? <laughs> <laughs> to do what? <laughs> to say I've done more. It's there. Oh. Oh, oh no no, no, no. no, no, no. This, this isn't the finish. This isn't the finish. That'll be the Aaron. reveal for next week when we show the the okay. finish panel. Yeah. So we got uh, Ben's one up the top with uh, the mum handing blank the the thing, and That's she's saying, "Here is something to help you on your journey." And it's uh, still in flashback mode. And we got Aaron's blank looking into the bag, and it says, "The world is cold and harsh. We had to make you so, if you were to survive your mission. But a cold facade is no shield for a heart as warm." And pure as yours. So for you, my son, I gift you <laughs> companionship. And it's like, I got you, what bitch. A, what a way. <laughs> yeah, that's a good game. That's what he gets back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like the <laughs> worst mom ever. Like, oh, I give you companionship, <laughs> and then there's a rocket, a uh, robot shoots you in the face. <laughs> yeah. is, is that the, the laser sights pointed right at him? This is a toxic <laughs> family. <laughs> that that's is a awesome. good panel. That's great. That's a great page, guys. <laughs> yeah, great pages, what I meant to say. It's all Thank good you. panels. Thank you to Daniel and Ben for carrying carrying the team. That's really good, good, Aaron. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'd like to think the inks are getting better. Oh, I, I kind of only, I knew what inking was in theory and, you know, I'd seen Ben's and I'm like, all right, let's, let's try and do a little summon, summon like that. <laughs> nice. All righty. That'll do us for tonight. Yep. I will. To thank Ben and Aaron and Dan for showing up. I can, I can show oh, you so far. Oh, yeah, Aaron. Nice. That's That'd it. Cool. Jeez. Thank That's you. looking really good, Aaron. Yeah. Thank you. The pressure. Pressure makes diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank everyone in the chat. Is there any last 
chats there. Oh, it looks like there is actually. I just went into the other page and it's telling me there's another chat. Another. We, oh, great work, everyone from Dave Die. There you go. Hey, great day, Dave. Dave. Looks so go, Dave. good from Cold Creature. I just missed that as well. Yeah. Thank you, Cold Creature. And thanks, Sis, for stuff and everything. Organizing else. the show. <laughs> <laughs> pressing the buttons Thanks for inviting me along. The wrong buttons organizing the wrong oh what <laughs> this isn't drink and draw what where am i um <laughs> uh, i'll just throw in there everyone remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're on youtube if you're not on youtube get to youtube and like the channel uh subscribe to the channel i mean that would be awesome it helps us produce more of these wonderful videos for everyone and the blank kickstarter and blank Kickstarter. The oh, address. Yeah. And if you get it and you're not happy with it, I'll leave that on the screen as we go out. Blank.comx.studio. When this is finished, that's where it goes. So, yeah, we're making a PDF of all this. Um, and uh, I don't know if I should say that in a few months it will be an actual comic as well. So, it will I know, be. Too late. I've said it now, so there you go. It will be. <laughs> I've got another comment. A thumbs up from Cold Creature. Excellent. Hey. All righty. So next week is the penultimate episode. So come back then to see a whole new bunch of artists making a whole new page. And I think that's it. Thanks for showing up, guys. And we'll see you later. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Brad. Yeah. Thanks Thank you. Thank you, guys. Nice to meet Have you all. Yep. You too. See you later.